Hey guys, so today I am doing a collaboration with the lovely Shirley from Non-Toxic Voyage. If you are not subscribed to her channel, you should be. She does the same kind of videos that I do, Green Beauty. She's not totally vegan, but she does feature a lot of vegan products just because of the nature of Green Beauty and stuff, so. But she also is going to be doing a video. We're doing our top five face masks video, so she's gonna pick her top five and I'm gonna pick my top five. So I'm gonna leave her video linked down below so you can go check it out right after you're done watching this one. And if you came from her video, hello. It's nice to see you here. So I had a really hard time with this. If you guys know me, which I'm assuming that you do because you're watching this video and you're subscribed to my channel. So if you guys have been watching my channel for any length of time, you know that I really, really love face masks. I think that they are a staple in skincare. Um, a really great face mask can do a lot for your skin. It can make it look amazing. They're good for rejuvenating and detoxing and all kinds, there are all kinds of face masks that do all kinds of really great things for your skin. So for me, picking my top five was going to be a little bit difficult because I have quite the collection of face masks. So I picked the ones that I use the most often that I notice immediate results from that I think would be good for most skin types, if not all skin types. So these five that I'm going to show you get used the most out of any face masks that I've got. And I just love these so much and I would recommend them to anybody. So I'm going to start out, I don't really think there's any way to organize this because I can't really pick like a favorite favorite for my top five. These are just the five that I love the most. So I will start with the two that I've done videos on before. So I'll just briefly talk about those and then I'll link you over to my other videos. And then I'll talk about the three that I haven't reviewed before, and that's just going to be the way that we're going to have to do this. So the first one that I'll talk about is the Earth Body Sacred Skin Care Brighten Cleanser and Mask, and I did a demo first impressions of this on my channel back in, I don't know, August, September, one of those months. But it's been a few months, and... I am going to link you guys back to that video, but basically this is a superfruit enzyme powder that's made with megastein guava and acai to firm lift and hydrate your skin. And it says it is your secret defense against fine lines and tired, dull skin, which I, I truly believe and can attest to. Um, this, this is made with Moroccan lava clay and then the plants, the plant powders that are in it include pumpkin seed, papaya and pomegranate fruit powders. There are 13 different plant powders in here, so there's definitely a lot more amazing ingredients that really work to brighten and make your skin just look really good. So there are just a lot of really great ingredients in here. I use this as a mask and not as a cleanser. Specifically for me, if I have the opportunity to use it as a mask and not as a cleanser, that's what I'm gonna do anyway. I don't typically use sort of like grainy things as a cleanser. I do have some exfoliators, but if I can use it as a mask, I'm gonna use it as a mask and not as a cleanser. So this is also, the full size is really affordably priced and it has a lot of uses in it. So this is 3.5 ounces for the full size. It comes in like a really nice glass jar. Try to open this without dumping all my powder out everywhere. So here it's just a pink powder. And the full size is $24, and it says on here that it'll last, or it says on the website that it'll last 60 uses, but I think that's in their cleanser form, and you use half a teaspoon of it for the cleanser, but in the mask, you use 30 teaspoons. So if you use 30 teaspoons, you're gonna get 30 masks out of here, which for $24 is an amazing value. So go check out my other video. It's one of my earlier ones, so it's, you know, not as, probably good as my videos are now. I have no idea, but it's one of my earlier videos. I recently tried to go back and watch one of my earlier videos and I had to turn it off just because I just was so awkward and weird, but I'll link you back to that video so you can go check all the full information on that because I think the video is like 15 minutes long, but this is one of my favorites. I love this. I also have the other two from this line, the Purify and the Replenish, and those are also really great, but this one is my favorite. So the next one that I've got that I also have done a video on, and I did it pretty recently, was the SW Basics of Brooklyn Hibiscus Mask, and I love this mask. I did this mask last night. I use this probably once a week. Let's see if we can see how, how far down I am in the jar. I get so nervous every time I use this because I don't want to ever be without this, but this is also really affordably priced. It's 2.5 grams and it's $22. Right now you can only buy it on their website, but maybe one day they'll bring it to Target because the rest of the line is at Target except for this, so maybe they'll bring this to Target someday. Um, but this is made with three ingredients, hibiscus, 
French green clay and lavender powder. It's really great for cell turnover and detoxifying. It's also anti-inflammatory and it's really great for oily and acne prone skin. So again, I'm going to refer you to the video that I did for this one already where I show it applied and all of that fun stuff. But this is also a really great mask. I notice a difference immediately after using this mask every single time. My skin just looks so much brighter. It looks so much healthier and even and this is, it's really great for oily skin specifically. So definitely check out my video and definitely check out this, this mask. Love this mask. So the next one I'll talk about, I did briefly mention in my winter favorites video, and it is the Aster and Bay Dandelion Face Grains with Frankincense and Myrrh. I just have their little trial size. Um, this is the second one that I bought. I got one in a Petit Vore box and then I bought sort of like their travel set and another one of their travel size face grains came in it, but I would buy the full size of this once I run out of all of that stuff. So the full size of this is $30 and it's four ounce, it's a four ounce jar. So again, you're getting a really large amount of product for a really reasonable price, especially considering the ingredients in here and what it does for your skin. So this one specifically is a blend of delicate botanical exfoliants chosen for their unique anti-inflammatory and skin soothing properties. It's made with clays, resins, roots, flowers, and grains. So, and I can go through all of the ingredients that are in here. There's azuki bean powder, there's oat flour, there is rice powder, Moroccan lava clay, dandelion root powder, licorice root powder, hibiscus flour, marshmallow root powder, fennel seed powder, frankincense powder, myrrh powder, and turmeric root powder. So the hibiscus, again, makes its presence in this. Hibiscus is just a really great anti-aging ingredient, and it's in a lot of skincare, especially things like this. It's actually in three of the masks that are in my top five. So you saw it in the hibiscus mask, and then it's in the Astro Bay dandelion face grains as well. But this is a really great one too. This one has the Moroccan clay, which I tend to find more detoxifying than like French green clay, especially for my skin. I don't, maybe it's, it's different for everybody, but this one especially I find really works well on when I'm having like a breakout. And this does the same thing sort of that the SW Basics does. It works really well to brighten and firm and de detoxify in general your skin. This is just another really amazing skincare product, and you can also use it as a cleanser. You can use it mixed with their facial oil or your facial, your favorite facial oil, or you can do like I do and just use it as a mask. I mix it with water, but you can mix it with anything. You can mix it with honey or coconut milk or, you know, whatever. Whatever you like to mix your, fa mix your face masks with. Sometimes I'll mix my face masks with, um my George's aloe or the rose water that I use. I don't like to go outside of that just because I'm a creature of habit, but I really love this one. I tend to do this one maybe once a week or once every other week, depending on what else I'm using. I'll use maybe one detoxifying mask a week and then I'll use something else the rest of the week. But that's another really great one and I would also suggest that one. So the next one that I've got here is the Andalou Naturals 1000 Roses Rose Water Mask. This one is an already prepared mask, so it's just like a gel. It's a gel-like texture. It smells a lot like roses. It's really great and creamy and it's really nice. This one is made for sensitive skin and well, it's for delicate and dry skin, and it delivers deep hydration and cellular support to soothe, nourish, and transform sensitive skin. So I especially like to use this one after I've used like a really intense clay mask. If I find that my skin is just kind of, it hasn't really bounced back after I've washed it off, I feel like sometimes I need a little bit extra hydration and moisture before putting on an actual moisturizer. So I'll use this, pop this on for 10 or 15 minutes, and then my face just sort of plumps up and rehydrates, and it just, it feels really good and soft afterwards. So this one, there the so some of the key ingredients in this are the alpine rose, stem cells, pomegranate, cranberry, date leaf, white tea, and rosehip oil. So again, a lot of really great natural ingredients in here that are just really great for your skin. They're really great at soothing and moisturizing and hydrating. Just an all-around really great moisturizing face mask. This is right now the only moisturizing face mask that I have. I would be interested in looking into others just because I don't have that many, <laughs> or I don't, I, I don't, I've only got the one. So I do like to have multiples of the same kind, and right now this is the only one that I'm using that's moisturizing, but I do really, really like this one. So, and like I said, I like to use this one for extra moisture after I've used a really intense mask where my skin is just feeling sort of dry and needs a little bit of moisture. So, love this one too. 
So the last one that I've got is actually a newbie to my collection. I've only used it two times, but the two times that I've used it, my skin has just looked fantastic afterwards, like right afterwards and the day afterwards. It's just, it's an amazing face mask. And I lusted over this face mask for quite a long time before taking the plunge and picking it up. And I, it was a good thing that I waited because they came out with another product in the same line that I was really interested in and I had never had before. This is the Mahalo Body Pele Mask. So this is a facial mask to detoxify and revitalize your skin. There are just so many wonderful ingredients in this. I just can't even. It's... This is a fusion of Hawaiian and luxurious ingredients and it gives your skin a deeply purifying treatment that unveils your glowing paradise radiant self. So, and this one, like most of the others that I do have, is a powder mask, so you do have to activate it yourself. I've used it, a, like I said, two times already. And this one has a lot of other really great ingredients. This one, again, has the hibiscus. It makes an appearance in this mask as well. So the Botox Mimicking Hibiscus anti inflammatory the anti-inflammatory turmeric, collagen-boosting vitamin C, anti-aging neem leaf, oxygenating cayenne, sebum-balancing witch hazel, wrinkle-fading guava, acne-fighting holy basil, toxin-magnet volcanic ash clay, and bacteria-absorbing activated bamboo charcoal. That's just a few of the many, many really great natural and amazing ingredients in here. I wanted to write down and talk about all of the ingredients that are in this, but I have to limit it for time's sake, but seriously go to the website and just check out the ingredients that are in here and just research briefly what they will do for your skin. And this is just like a powerhouse detoxing mask if you've got any kind of skin condition. I think this, you can probably compare this to the May Lindstrom Problem Solver because I do believe that the ingredients that are in both are similar. This one obviously has more Hawaiian ingredients and there's more fruits and stuff in here, but I think the... I haven't actually looked at all the ingredients in the May Lindstrom Problem Solver, but I can only imagine that these sort of compare to each other. That one obviously is huge and is expensive. This one is $64, so it is on the more pricey side, but honestly, I think, I think expensive skincare is really worth it, especially if you really want your skin to look the best that it can. I have just found that products that do cost me a little bit more money, I see more results from than if I'm using sort of just like a drugstore, a drugstore skincare line. Honestly, I do think higher end and expensive skincare is totally worth it if you can afford it. And this one especially, honestly, is one of the best face masks that I've tried. I do think it also pairs really well with their Vitality Elixir, which is their facial oil. I did get a little sample of that in mine, and I will be ordering a full size of that at some point because it's this coupled with that just makes your skin look glowy and amazing and seriously I could not even believe how good my skin looked the next day it's it takes a lot for my skin to look amazing the day after as well as after I've taken off the mask so this is just it's just a testament to really great ingredients and just it's just really great so I also when I picked this up I also picked up their mixing bowl and I think that if you like face masks as much as I do you you probably like to make it an experience I like to make my pampering sessions an experience like I'll do I just like to really create just a nice like hour for myself and I think the little things are what makes them even more special so having something as simple as like a really beautiful mixing bowl and a little bamboo spoon to mix your face mask skin makes all the difference. This is the mask I got from Mahalo and it is the most gorgeous tiny mixing bowl I've ever seen in my life. It's just so beautiful and it's just it doesn't add anything to the face masks but it just makes it such a nice experience to mix your face masks in this little bowl and just apply it to your skin. I don't know what it is. It's just it's just a nice little thing. If you don't have any mixing bowls for your face masks, definitely check this one out. It is, it's $24, which I don't, I mean, it's handcrafted and it's beautiful. I don't think that that's an exorbitant amount at all. I'm gonna, I cherish this thing. I keep it in the little box it came in. I make sure my cats don't have any idea it exists. It's just one of my favorite things to use when I do my face masks. And I use this every single time, no matter what face mask I'm using. It's just, I just love it. So those were the top five face masks that I like to use on a pretty regular basis. If Chances are if I'm putting on a face mask, 
like 90% of the time I'm going to be using one of those five. Occasionally I'll use something else because I do have a lot of other stuff that I need to go through, but these are my absolute favorites and I would recommend these to anybody. I'm going to leave all the links for all of these face masks down below because I definitely think that you should check them out. And a lot of them I do think are worth the price that they are, especially with the amount of uses that you get and the quality of the ingredients and the benefits that they have for your skin. So definitely check them all out. Let me know if you've tried any of these face masks or what your favorites are. I definitely want to know. Not that I need any new ones, but I do always like to get recommendations for more face masks just because I'm a face mask fiend. Um, if you'd like to see more sort of face mask videos on my channel, let me know. I was doing a face mask Friday video for a while, but honestly I just haven't had a lot of time to, to plan things out as much as I did the beginning of the year. Work has been insane. I'll probably talk about that at some point. Just catch you guys up on what's going on in my life and why my videos have been sort of sporadic lately. Um, but if you'd like to see any other sort of face mask videos, let me know. I could always do like a top five affordable face masks or I could do, I don't know. You give me your ideas. If you want to see any other face mask videos, let me know. But I hope you enjoyed this one. Definitely go check out Shirley's video. I know that I'm definitely going to check out her video because she's going to have all sorts of really great suggestions as well. She'll definitely have some different stuff that isn't the same ones that I suggested, so definitely go check her out, and I will see you guys in my next video. Alright, bye.